picture this, a city built on a windswept mountain plain with stones so massive they dwarf a jumbo jet. Some reaching upwards of 100 tons? That's Tiwanaku. But how did ancient people without wheels or fancy tools move these blocks across miles of harsh terrain? This mystery has archaeologists stumped. Sure, they've tried to recreate the process, but their experiments fall short. They use smaller stones, shorter distances, and frankly, not enough time. Could it really have taken years, even decades, to build Tiwanaku? In the heart of the Andes lies a city of giants built from stones that defy explanation. Tiwanaku, an ancient marvel that challenges our ideas about construction in the distant past. Without wheels, steel, or the kind of tools we consider essential, its builders achieved feats that still baffle us. As an engineer, the accepted theories leave me with questions, and I know I'm not alone. Skeptics wonder, could herds of llamas really drag the biggest stones? Would simple reed boats survive the weight on Lake Titicaca? Even engineers are scratching their heads. We must be underestimating the Tiwanaku people. Were there construction secrets we've forgotten? Did they have techniques we can't even imagine? Join us on a journey to explore Tiwanaku, where we'll examine the mysteries, the ingenuity, and the possibility that history still has secrets to reveal. Tiwanaku's stones whisper of incredible craftsmanship, blocks weighing tons, cut and fitted with a razor's precision. Modern tools can achieve this, but the Tiwanaku only had bronze. Sure, archaeologists talk about methods like sand abrasion, but those techniques seem too slow for such a massive project. Could it really take centuries to build Tiwanaku this way? Stonemasons today are baffled by this mystery, studying techniques from other ancient builders like the Egyptians and Inca. Could there be forgotten methods, even a lost understanding of how to work with stone? The precision we see at Tiwanaku seems to demand tools and techniques far beyond what archaeologists attribute to them. The logistics of building Tiwanaku seem almost as impossible as the stonework itself. Giant stones, some the size of buses, hauled across vast distances, all without our modern advantages. The official narratives involve llamas, ramps, and maybe even reed boats on Lake Titicaca. But let's be honest, could these methods really achieve the scale of Tiwanaku? The sheer ambition makes engineers throw up their hands. It seems the textbook explanations might need a rewrite. And that we're underestimating the Tiwanaku builders, minimizing their ingenuity to fit our preconceived notions of what's possible with simple tools. Or does the evidence hint at something else entirely? Building a city takes more than muscle and stone. It takes feeding a massive workforce. Tiwanaku's location might seem harsh, but it was key to their success. The nearby lake provided resources, and their mastery of terracing transformed the slopes into productive farmland. This wasn't just about food, it was about logistics. Managing supplies for thousands of builders on this scale that takes planning worthy of a modern-day supply chain expert. The scale of Tiwanaku suggests more than brilliant builders. It hints at masterminds of organization. Moving materials, coordinating labor. The logistics behind this city demands a level of organization and planning that seems at odds with the conventional understanding of their society. Imagine the planning sessions, the resource management. It rivals some of our modern day construction projects. Who were these ancient project managers working not with computers, but with an understanding of their world that we can only begin to guess at? Could the masterminds behind Tiwanaku have possessed knowledge we haven't even begun to fathom? A Tiwanaku forces us to confront the limits of our knowledge. The mainstream explanations often leave more questions than answers. Could the truth be far stranger, hinting at lost knowledge, forgotten technologies, or perhaps even a legacy from a civilization far older than we imagine? The stones of Tiwanaku stand as a silent challenge, daring us to think beyond the expected and explore the possibility that history isn't as simple as we like to believe. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe for more mysteries of the ancient world.